I'd like to encourage everyone that can to receive vaccination for influenza. It's important. Right now, going through our communities is a novel strain of influenza. We can see it causing widespread infection in our schools. Widespread, it's going to cause widespread infection through our community. Most people will recover just fine from influenza, but will miss days of work, will miss uh, uh, their normal activities, and will feel pretty bad for a couple of days. But some of us in our community will get influenza and will have severe illness or even die. The best and most effective way to keep that from happening is the influenza vaccines. Influenza vaccines are the best way to protect ourselves, to protect our family, and to protect our patients from getting influenza and uh, suffering the consequences. So I really want to encourage everyone that can to get vaccinated. Yes, influenza vaccines are safe. Influenza vaccines have been used for many decades. Millions and millions of people have received them and they've been very safe and very effective. Vaccine this year is being produced both for seasonal influenza and for H1N1 swine flu. Both vaccines, both the injectable vaccine and the nasal spray vaccine for H1N1 swine flu are produced exactly the same way as the vaccines produced for seasonal flu. So it's not a novel new vaccine. The vaccines for H1N1 influenza are just specific for that strain of influenza. It's produced exactly the same way and we know it is safe and we know it is effective. The vaccine for H1N1 swine origin influenza has been tested actually more thoroughly than we usually test the uh, seasonal influenza. And that was because we wanted to make sure that it's going to be effective for this novel strain of influenza. Um, in the late summer when the first dose of vaccine came out, it was tested on several hundred people and now it's been up to several thousand people documented, used to show that it's both safe and that people will develop an immune response to it that will protect them from getting influenza if they receive the vaccine. The nasal spray vaccine contains what's called a live but attenuated virus. So it's a virus that has been altered so it's very weak. So it can still introduce an immune response but not cause significant infection, not cause any disease. And it's really a, a, a great new addition to our immunization ability for influenza. The nasal spray vaccine has been around for several years now. It's been widely used and has proven to be very effective. Uh, so far it's been limited in its use to uh, people between the ages of 2 and 49 who have no underlying immune compromising conditions or chronic conditions that uh, uh, may put them at risk for influenza. And it's important to note that, that res those restrictions are not because the nasal spray vaccine is dangerous, it's just because it hasn't been tested in that population yet. Most likely this weakened strain of flu will not cause significant disease in virtually anybody. Uh, and I would anticipate that eventually it will be uh, licensed more widely. Uh, so basically there's, um, no, you will not get the influenza that is circulating right now, the swine influenza, from the vaccine. The nasal spray vaccine is uh, available both for a seasonal influenza and for swine influenza. And right now it's recommended for any, the seasonal influenza vaccine can be given to anybody between the ages of two and 49 who have no underlying chronic uh, medical conditions. And you can check with the influenza uh, clinic. Uh, you can check with the influenza uh, vaccine clinics to uh, see if you're, there's a restriction for you. The swine flu vaccines are coming out slowly uh, and we're being allocated uh, uh, amounts of vaccine to be used uh, as we receive it. So the first batch, which arrived uh, this past week, is to be allocated to people taking care of patients in the hospitals and in the clinics, taking care of patients at high risk for complications of influenza. So those of us that work with, in the ICUs, the emergency department, in pediatrics, in with cancer patients, with organ transplant patients, can and should get this vaccine if we have no contraindications. As more vaccine becomes available, it will be disseminated more widely and, admitted, and recommended for more and more uh, groups of people. Eventually, there will be enough vaccine, both the nasal spray and the injectable vaccine, 
for anyone who wants to receive the vaccine to get vaccinated. All vaccines have potential side effects, fortunately, almost always very minor. And uh, as a person who gets influenza vaccine every year, I can tell you that I've never had any severe reaction. At most I've ever had is a sore arm from the injection and a runny nose for about four hours after the nasal spray. People that are, when we uh, vaccinate large numbers of people, what we see with the injectable vaccine is the same thing that I've experienced is a sore arm, which you'd expect from an injection. A small proportion of people will run a low grade fever for about 24 hours, occasionally get some headaches. With the uh, nasal spray, uh, most common is a bit of a runny nose. Uh, in children, they may get a little bit of a fever and a headache for about 24 hours. Uh, some adults have also reported a sore throat. In general, both vaccines are very well tolerated and you pretty much don't know you even received the vaccine.